So let's talk about all the positive stuff in the December PTR update for New World. And I'm definitely not trying to gloss over my two big issues with the update, but we'll talk more about that in a moment. Let's talk about the actual good stuff on the PTR. And I've got to say, I had a look at the festive update and all the content surrounding that this morning. And you know what? I actually think it looks pretty decent and interesting. I'm not personally going to delve too much into it until it's live because I don't quite feel like I'm wasting my time. But it's definitely nice to have a proper seasonal festive event in the game with actual proper content rewards as well. Now, I won't explain the whole thing, but essentially there's four winter villages. And in these villages, you can basically talk to the main guy there. And it is essentially a faction vendor reputation. So you can get talk by finding these presents out in the world and you can level up your reputation with this Christmas guy basically. You can think of it very much like your faction vendor but obviously this is just a temporary festive vendor. And I've got to say that the rewards that are available seem pretty interesting. There's furnishing items, there's some schematics and recipes and that kind of thing but importantly you can actually get an in-game skin via this method so a vendor that's available in game with a reputation that you can grind in game you can now get a cosmetic that you will to essentially transmog your gear into which i really like the fact that they're doing that in game because i think most of these are either done by twitch drop or you know the classic paid store i'd still like to see a proper transmog system where you could essentially distill an in-game items appearance and use that somewhere else but i like the fact that they're doing this i've got no complaint I had a quick look at the wearable gear, it's like all 520 gear which doesn't seem that hot, it does have like look on it so there's probably some use out there but unless there's a way of upgrading that or that I can't see or whatever, I don't think that's necessarily going to be the thing that most players gravitate to but if you're leveling up or you just hit level 60, well there's probably some gear for you. To get this reputation up there are basically some presents that you find in the world just randomly placed, I'm not 100% sure if they're like a chest that you can just like re-get every so often and there's also this thing like they call them like gleaming meteors so there's like the sky is dropping essentially meteors which are quite rare i didn't see one myself so they maybe are actually quite rare but yeah like that's how you're going to get up your reputation and stuff like that interesting enough and there are some ice caves which i haven't personally explored yet but they do have a picture of it on their website i've got to say that content also looks fine um i don't know if the chests involved are going to be actually worth a lot for your level or if it's going to be more to do with getting the tokens i would suspect the latter but it's nice to see that they're there and apparently these caves will probably remain in their ice form but the bosses will probably leave. So it's just nice to have a proper event with proper rewards that a lot of people will want. If you're like a high-end competitive gamer then having the you know appearance rewards probably aren't that important to you and there may not be much for you there but for most people I think you'll be like oh I can at least go and maybe try and get that skin so you've got that going forward. Yeah I'm pretty happy with this being in the game. I think it's great to see and it makes me excited about possibly future content as well and then we have some balance changes which i know some of you will probably be eagerly awaiting because we have now seen the official patch notes which granted is the patch notes for the ptr rather than the patch when it goes live so don't get confused this might still change and the one that i think most people wanted to see including myself who is a great axe uh, warhammer user that the great axe is basically getting nerfed in two main ways really the leap that you get that you just automatically attack somebody and it chases after somebody that is being nerfed and brought into a line with the other weapons as well and it seems like some of the abilities are getting nerfed like the distance of reap is being reduced and i think even the damage of it is also being reduced and then the rest are like slight nerfs and boss i think like the warhammer is getting a slight nerf the musket a very very slight nerf but i think the musket is still probably going to be reigning supreme in outpost rush i saw a slight buff to the ice gauntlet but nothing really for the fire staff so not much else seems to be changing but i think most people will be happy with the great axe change to be fair however i can't help feel like those dex weapons are getting buffed and everything else is getting nerfed that we're going to just continuously see dex weapons until the next patch but that's my mark that's my guess we'll see if i'm right so let's talk about the negativity surrounding this patch i do think and i believe for most people can see that scaling the gear you have to what your high watermark gear score is is a little bit weird and basically you're going to be buying like a gear score 600 item and then it's going to get scaled to whatever your gear score is so if your gear score 500 then you're going to get dropped from 600 to 500 and that just seems weird and wrong to me i don't really like that at all and especially it nerfs the crafters or people who haven't been farming the high watermark gear score a lot of you in my comments in the last video said hey why haven't you just farmed it it's easy some people haven't wanted to do that and now they're getting punished for their personal choice and i think that's a bit weird my gear score by the way probably fine i think i've got some things at 600 and some things in the 570s etc so i'll probably be okay especially using the new gypsum stuff but my second main issue with it was that they were time gating the content with these gypsum casts now my concerns there have actually been really really diminished i actually don't think it's going to be as big as a problem as i initially thought 
So reading more about it, it sounds like there's actually several different types of gypsum and I think you can make up to seven different types of gypsum casts a day, even though I think there's overall there's 20 different gypsum casts that you can get like different forms using different slots. I'm not necessarily doing a good job of explaining that, but if you can make seven a day, then honestly that's less gated than I expected because it was my understanding that I thought you were just going to get one per day and that was going to be an obvious in your face, hey, we don't want you to progress very quickly so we're not going to let you kind of thing. But seven per day is probably actually maxing out what most people can probably achieve in a day anyway. The hardcore players will probably get seven every day and the casual players like myself, I might get one or two a day, which I'm okay with. I still do worry about making the expertise system actually just overall harder because they are now nerfing the chests and they're nerfing the elite areas and stuff like that and they're replacing that essentially with this just some cast thing they have a bit of control here that will enable them to basically slow you down and make it harder than it once was if they do make it harder than it once was and i don't think we actually have the evidence really to say if they are going to or they're not going to at the moment then i do think that would be a little bit unfair because the hardcore players will have grinded their way to 600 and everybody else like wouldn't have so yeah we'll have to wait and see on that one that all comes down to my main points generally with amazon at the minute is that i like actually a lot of what their changes are and the intentions behind their changes but the end results always seem to be the same it always seems to be that you reward the small percentage of people who got their first and basically got all the rewards and then you make it harder for everybody else it wouldn't be so bad to happen once or twice for the good of the game but it seems like it continuously happens and i think that's overall a bit of a problem good changes bad timings basically on a lot of things to be fair it probably should just happen in the next expansion rather than midway through your launch but yeah my time getting concerns pretty much out the window something i found a little bit amusing and i actually personally happy about this because i don't have three houses with three max trophies the luck gathering trophies are going to be a little bit nerfed because you can now convert some of the tier 5 mats into the rare end game materials so basically you can convert oricalcum or into like tolvium and stuff like that so yes you still want it for void ore and all that kind of stuff but temporarily your trophy is a little bit nerfed but for me i consider i don't have them pretty happy with that and there's just little quality of life changes as well like for example you can now make uh, oracalcum ingots using platinum ingots as well instead of just star metal that makes it a lot easier very much going to devalue star metal i think because platinum seems to be probably more in the world than star metal just my random opinion i don't actually know if that's true but you know those little changes i think most people are sort of happy with it or can at least understand it so there's a lot of interesting stuff in this patch and if it all works like about the same kind of level then i think most of it is actually good i do think that if they literally just remove this idea of scaling your gear to your high watermark gear score slash expertise then i think this patch would have been very much more well received there's quite a few problems with it even so as i had my time gain concerns and stuff like that but do I take it as an overall positive or overall negative? Well, it really depends on which side of the fence you sit on. I think if you're a crafter right now, you're probably super annoyed. If you're everybody else, we're possibly in the camp of like, let's just wait and see. So I tried to balance my negative video yesterday with a positive video today, and we'll see how many people call me a shill. <laughs> like this video, have a most beautiful day.